Kristen. I'm Will. And this is Rome. And we have Rush a dog, Rush. Rush. Yeah. We live in a Bluebird bus. And it's a 28 foot originally Air Force bus. We extended the bumper to 31 feet. And uh, it's been great. We've been living on the road since April of 2019. All right, so welcome to the inside of our bus. Uh, first, moving in, we're gonna show you our countertop in our kitchen area. So our counter is from the Jacksonville Beach Pier, which is where we're originally from, and it got destroyed during Hurricane Matthew. So we reclaimed this, and it took a while. I've never done epoxy before, but I would do a solo cup a day. Um, I would do five of them a day for seven days, so 35 total pours to get this level and uh, to get it flush to looking like the way it is now. We burned the words Jack's Beach Pier into it and in some of the other pieces in the bus we actually hid shark's teeth and that's like a cool little piece of it and uh, we love it. It's great and I mean it's a it's a good piece of home. Moving on we have a table so this actually folds out into a table that we can sit right here while we're on the couch and eat and uh, we have this hose that's great also because we can put it outside and wash off if we need to. We have our three burner stove, and this is a propane stove. And we also have a nice little oven right here. We cook on a regular basis. Uh, Kristen loves cooking and coming up with new ideas. So it's something we use almost every day, if not multiple times a day. And we have a 16 and a half gallon propane tank, and that typically lasts us for about three months while we're on the road. So it's very efficient. We have a lot of overhead storage and all this storage right here, this is a lot of the electronic area. You know, you got the storage right here for our toothbrushes and our toiletries. And then a lot of our pot and pans and even our pantry over here. We wanted a full freezer and refrigerator. And so we went with the Norcold refrigerator and this is a three-way fridge. So it's AC powered, DC and LP. And almost 90% of the time, this is off of LP. Uh, and it's super efficient. We have plenty of storage in here. Three rows of shelving. We've got two rows of shelving right here for all the freezer goods and uh, it's perfect. We're really glad that we went with this style. When we decided to go with the bus life, we had to find uh, a bus. So that took a little bit of a process and we ended up finding this one at an Air Force base out in Layton, Utah. The person that had it before us had the same idea. They just didn't do much with it. They just cleared out the seats and that's kind of it. So when we got it, that's nice. We didn't have all the seats to deal with, but then me and my dad spent the next year and a half really customizing it to what you see now. And I mean, that alone, even if we never got to actually drive the bus was worth every single second to be able to spend that much time, you know, with my dad doing that. This is our living room area slash guest bed. So we love this area. It's nice to sit right here and we'll pop up the table and we'll have dinner right here as a family. Uh, Rome's car seat also will clip in right here when we're on the go and Kristen sits right here. Then we have Rush that sits up on the front and he loves to be in the front zone. But this also folds out into a guest bed. And we also as well have storage under here. This has been a great space. Uh, one of the things that we would switch in the future and for anybody else out there building a bus is we would do more of this as a uh, diner style. So we would probably go back and maybe make something where we could sit and face each other and eat. It's nice to sit like this, but at the same time, we would like to face each other and maybe have a conversation besides, you know, talking side, side by side. But overall, it's really a great space and, uh, and it's a great guest bed. We have these curtains on like an aircraft wire is what it is. And we got these from Ikea. They're super cheap. Uh, but the aircraft wire that they give you is only like six feet. So I just bought an extension. This actually runs all the way from the front of the bus 
to the back and then we have a couple areas right here but these curtains have been really great because these are blackout curtains so when we're camping somewhere at night or if the sun's coming in too hot right here it's been great to you know stop that and they are extremely dark as you can see it really makes it dark in here it's like a bat cave at nighttime so uh this is something that's been great it doesn't lose its tension and it's been good we wanted some kind of light that we could move around and that was flexible and small out of the way and this actually has another purpose because Kristen will sit up here and read at night too so it has a blue light which really keeps the light down up front while Rome's sleeping in the back and these are great little add-on these things are off Amazon for super cheap another cool feature uh, that we have on this side of the bus is we move the emergency exits over here so we made it so that they sit out here and there's actually a wooden rod that will sit right here and hold it in. It's a good draft during the day. And we also have screens for these windows as well. Dometic AC unit. Now we did add the heating element to this also. So if we're plugged in, we can run the heating piece because it is a huge draw. And uh, this has been great. We added the easy start to this. So it doesn't have as much of a load when we do crank it up. So we can run it off a 2000 watt generator and it's just been a great little AC unit. We got a small bus, so that way it cools down this, you know, this small space that we have. We both actually work full time. Um, we had jobs before moving onto the bus that allowed us to work remotely. So I'm a communications manager for a resort community in North Carolina called Bear Lake Reserve, which is this beautiful hidden gem and I handle all their internal communications and social media. And I have really great bosses who just love that we're doing this. <laughs> so they support our adventure and they let us work from wherever. Yeah, and so, and I own a production and marketing company. We do social media, video production, stuff like that. And uh, I've been doing it for six years now and been working remotely. So it's been something that we've been able to do on the bus and on the go. Instead of sitting one location all the time, we might as well just do it from wherever in the country. This is a little piece that we built to go over the steering wheel and this is actually my office. So I get some pretty epic views out my office window and yeah, it's just easy to set up and I like my office chair, which is doubles as a bus chair. I just work off a laptop or my phone, so it works great right here. And um, it's all the space I really need. So moving on back, this is my workspace. This is something that we definitely needed to have in the bus. I do work remote for a living. So we had to have a good area. I need two screens because I do video work and it made sense to make a dedicated work area. It's really been great. I mean, we have plenty of overhead storage for hard drives. Um, I have some tripods down here. We have a little desk light that will light up under here at night. One of the things that I had to work on was downsizing a lot of the camera gear and stuff that I had. I had all of these, you know, big stabilizers and whatnot and tripods. And so I had to find stuff that was more compatible and easy to take with us on the road to still be able to do the work that I do. But it's been great to sit here and work off two screens. We can watch movies off the secondary monitor. So it'll actually swivel around and move. Uh, the view changes all the time we're on the go. So we've been everywhere from Nova Scotia looking over like a hundred foot cliff where you're just, all you see is the ocean, uh, to out in the middle of the woods like we are right now, to by the beach where there's wild horses. It's really cool to sit here and work and have these amazing views on a daily basis. Uh, and it's great. And we do have full internet in the bus as well. So when we're off grid, uh, we have the WeBoost system set up, but we also have a little router right here that runs off of a SIM card that gives us full service uh, while we're out on the road.
our bathroom behind this barn door, which Will and his dad actually built for about 50 bucks, which is a really good price for a barn door. Um, and then in here we have the Nature's Head composting toilet, which we love. It's great for off-grid. It's easy and simple to use. It's definitely not as scary as you think composting toilets are. I know I did a ton of research whenever I wanted a composting toilet and I was really scared of it and I don't know why because it's super simple to use. Um, we have a shower. Everything in here can get wet and it's not a big deal. We just squeegee it up. It's all sealed really good so we don't have to worry about leaks or anything like that, but it was definitely a lot of work. <laughs> Depending on if we are, so if we're somewhere where we can easily access water, we'll shower pretty much every day. Um, whenever we're trying to conserve water, we'll try to find other places to shower. So like Planet Fitness or friends and families. Um, no matter when we take a shower, they're always just like super quick and short, turn the water on, turn it off, soap up, turn it back on. You know, we, we're always trying to conserve our water because we only have a 40 gallon tank. So that goes really fast. <laughs> Moving back, this is Rome's bedroom. So uh, we got this pack and play off Amazon and, oh, hi Rush. We picked this one specifically because it has this, which makes it super simple to put her in and out of here. Um, when she goes to sleep, we have blackout curtains behind here. So we put them around this and then we make a little blackout curtain wall right there. That kind of lets us be able to stay awake when she goes to sleep at nighttime because she goes to bed around like 7.30. She's way too early to go to bed. Um, so we went with the pack and play instead of a crib because, well, first of all, because she's going to be growing and changing a lot. So this will be really simple to just change whenever she becomes um, a bigger toddler into being a little kid. Um, but two, when we tried to build a crib, like we did try to build a crib around here at first and it just didn't really work because underneath here we have storage. So this needs to be able to lift up. And when we would like secure the crib to it, it would just kind of hit this or things would happen and we couldn't quite make the mechanics to make it all work. So this option was the best and we just slide it over whenever we need to access the storage under here. This is for her diapers and cloth diapers and all those sort of things right there. There we have towels up there, some Will's office stuff. And then back, these two back here are split between me and Rome. So it's like kind of my jeans, her nighttime stuff. And back there is just like our swimsuits and things like that. Our closet space. And this is actually split between Will, me, and Rome. So Rome's drawer, my drawer, Will's drawer. And then we all have a little bit of stuff hanging up here. A lot of people, whenever they're like, oh, I could never live on a bus or in a tiny house because I have too many clothes and I love clothes. And I used to have a closet that was basically the size of our bus right now. And it was just full of clothes. And now I have this in this drawer and a little bit up there. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. You just have to really want to live this kind of lifestyle and then getting rid of all the stuff that you don't even actually wear is actually a really simple process. Back here, where Rush is eating his bone, we have our master bedroom. So we have a queen size bed back here, which if I would do something different back here, first we always tell people we would turn the bed the opposite direction than it's going right now because um, it gets kind of difficult at night. I go to bed early, Will goes to bed late, so he has to crawl over me because I have to sleep on the outside to deal with Rome if she wakes up in the night. And then it's just kind of like a, a complicated mess to get out of. And so if we would have turned it the other way, it would have been a lot simpler to get in and out of. And also, or I would have just gone back in time and made a king bed here because we had a king bed before we moved onto the bus. And so downsizing to this bed with this guy who sleeps with us, it's kind of tight. Um, I would have made the closet smaller and the bed bigger. But other than that, um, this bed's really comfy. We just got a new bed back here and we have plenty of storage back here too. Our headboard is actually more storage that goes down behind the bed. So we keep like screens for the windows and extra toys for realm there. Before we had to basically crawl through this hole to get anything that wasn't like right here. And our laundry also goes right here when we have laundry. Um, so that would be the first thing in the way. And it was really, really annoying to access anything under the bed. So now that we have this, it has just 
than the best thing. So highly recommend that if you are building a bed in a tiny house, you make it lift up somehow so you can access the storage underneath it. So moving outside of the bus, uh, up in the front, we swapped out the lights that are originally on the bus, and these are some LED lights. This made a huge difference uh, while we're on the road uh, for high beam and low beam on those. And then if we're out in the middle of nowhere, we do have the light bar that we added, and it's been phenomenal. We wouldn't change anything about that. But we, uh, we have this great little nameplate that we had made, and uh, it's, it's been great. This used to have a bluebird thing right here, so we swapped it out and put number one there. Uh, as you can see, we got a speaker on the outside, so we have uh, surround sound in the bus, and we can also switch zones. So this is another zone where we can have some music outside. As you can see, we have this big piece of angle iron, uh, the seven foot piece right here. And a lot of people are like, what is that for? To guard your gas tank or what? So this actually will slide out into a bench. It slides out 30 inches and it's a bench, but also I'm a big skateboarder. So the one thing I wanted to do is customize this bus a little different than everybody else's. And so this is actually a way for me to skate and to grind, you know, all over and kind of uh, just pull it out and skate it and have a good session. Back here on this side, uh, uh, this is the propane tank that we added. Uh, we originally had those the 20 pound tanks and it just didn't make sense. So we added to the RV uh, 16 and a half gallon piece and this is the access door to it and it's actually under this whole section. And this has been a game changer for sure. Being on the road, we can stay off grid for a whole heck of a lot longer. Back here, we extended the bumper as you can see and rushes out. And the bus was originally 28 feet long and we added the bumper three feet out so that we could put on a motorcycle. Um, Kristen and I can both ride a bike. So this is something that we wanted to add in case we need to go get groceries, um, in case Rome needs to go get firewood, you know, whatever. So this has been a great piece that we added on to. We just got a little 250, so that way it's light. We can pull it on and off. And uh, this has been really nice to have on the road in Rome. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to ride it, not anytime soon, but soon, <laughs> soon enough. When we extended the bumper, uh, the one thing you have to be careful about is the tail swing. Uh, we stick out twice as far, so when we turn sharp, it'll swing really wide. Uh, but overall, it's been great. We do have actually added storage in here too, so these can actually pull up, and uh, we have some storage for like the generator and even like some other containers of oils and, and whatnot on the other side. Back here, we have our rooftop deck, which, we got this ladder from a junkyard. We pulled it off an old RV, painted it black. Up here we have our Wii Boost. So this keeps us connected in places where we wouldn't normally have service. It gives us cell service and internet service, which is awesome. And then we got tons of space up here to hang out, watch the sunrise, get a better view of wherever we're at. We got a toolie up here for extra storage. We keep like Rome's swimmy things in here, her floaties, extra tools stuff to wash the bus with, things that we really don't normally access. They go up here, we call it our garage. 500 watts of solar, and that is enough for us to be able to go off grid, and as long as there's sun, we recharge, and we can be off grid for as long as we want to be off grid for, as long as we don't run out of water. <laughs> We really don't have a set date on how long we're gonna live on the road or how long we wanna live this lifestyle. We kind of just wanna roll with it. We kind of just like pick places that we wanna go and make that like our goal for the year. So last year it was Nova Scotia, this year it's Alaska. Yeah. Then once we check Alaska off, probably pick another place and we'll just keep doing that until we run out of places or Rome gets so big and she says, I hate bus life, but hopefully that doesn't she happen. She won't say that. So. Well, thanks for letting us show you our home. Um, if you want to join us on our journey, we document our travels weekly with vlogs on YouTube, and you can find us at number one bus. And also we share um, on Instagram, and that's also just at number one bus. So come find us and travel to Alaska with us. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>